Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make this road with the lane marking in the geometry node. In the modify tab, we can change the road width. Let's make it 14 meter. We can also change the shoulder width. Let's make it 4 meter. And we can change the uh, lanes. So let's make it 4. see okay now let's start okay let's start with the call make it 15 meter let's zoom out to see the clearly let's click on the new for the new geometry node to make the road we need to add curve to mesh node give it a curve line profile Let's zoom out. I want to make a road of about uh, 6 meter width. So I will put minus 3 in the X and 3 in this X. I will put 0 here. So I have made a 6 meter road. But I want to control it with the geometry node. So I will insert an input. Input. Rename this socket as road width and in the subtype I will select the distance and I now type 6 meter here close this first I will copy with the shift T so the road width has a value of 6 meter and I want 3 meter here so I will divide with the help of a math node select divide plug here and by 2 now this value is now 3 but you can see this value is a negative so we need to multiply it with minus 1 so again math mode multiply with minus 1 let's connect here now what you can see is that if you plug direct it will put minus 3 in the all three all three xyz value uh, but we want minus 3 in only in x so we need to add combine xyz node make some space and add combine xyz node with this now we can only put the value in the x and everything others will be 0 like you can see minus 3 zero, 0 like same for this one connect here and plot the plus 3 value here so now we can fully control the road width now let's add again the soldier width click on the input make it distance close this make it 2 meter and just make some space for the another node math node add here now we will add the soldier width now both the road and soldier width is add and then divided now we have, we have a soldier width and the road width Let's group it with Ctrl J and rename with F2 and rename it road. Okay, let's make the lane marking. I will copy this node for this. Paste here. Name it lane marking. Sorry, F2 lane marking connect in the output for the lane marking we don't need soldier width so I will disconnect here 
and put the value zero let's subdivide the curve plug it here and increase the number up to three let's copy the input and paste it here and connect the cuts to her input now let's rename this and rename with number of lane minimize this now we need to get this curve like shape only we can do this by delete geometry node plug it here select edge edge vertices node and compare it plug in A and B and select equal put one here and plug it in the selection so we now have the five curve okay now we have five curves so one two three four five on the edge this curve and this curve is the edge curve or the edge line which is yellow color line so first we need to separate this from the five number of curves we can do this by the separate geometry node plug it here we want to separate edge okay let's first go into the viewer node and let's connect the mesh eyes lane so now you can see the number on the each curve so we want to now select the this zero number curve and four number curve so what you can see is that this four number curve you can get this by adding the uh, one in the value of number of lanes so let's make some space let's input the compare node select equal let's compare it with the mesh eyes lane and plug it in he here this is for curve 0 now we need to select this curve we again copy with the shift For the curve number 4, we need input, group input, we type input, paste it here. What we need to do is now add 1 in the number of lane and plug it here. We can do this by math node, plug it here, add 1 and plug it here. So number of lane is 3 we add 1 this is 4 okay uh, we need to now combine this by mesh boolean and plug it here and plug it here and we select R and connect in the, in the selection and we remove this viewer node let's make make some space this is our outside curve so we will now convert into curve to mesh to give some thickness first we need to convert it into curve mesh to curve with now use the curve line profile I will give a thickness of about minus 0 0.15 divided by 2 0 0.15 divided by 2 and I will put 0 here so this is our is lane marking so I will group it and with the control J and type H 
yellow lien marking so now we have the is marking now we'll need a dash line marking so we will now connect this in the output to create a dash line we will put uh, instance on point lock the grid in the instant put it here about 0.1 and vertices to 2 let's resample first we need to convert it into mesh to curve let's resample at every 3 meter now you can see is that the dash line are not uh, rotate around the curve to do that we have to connect align rotation align rotation to vector plug it in the rotation and connect the curve tangent in the vector and select the X now the test line is following the road let's now group it with Ctrl J and type it dash line. Let's join both the line marking with the join geometry. So you can now see the is marking and the dash line marking. you can now see the dash line marking is going outside of the road so we can delete this and delete this by end point selection and plug it here and use the math boolean brain math node and select not So here we have two road with the number of lanes 3 and another road with number of lane 5. Let's go to the viewer node and let's see the miss index. So you can see this has a curve number 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. And for this road, we have this curve number 0, 1 and 2. So let's remove this viewer node. So this is, we get this number. So for the this center lane, we have to select this one number and this two number is the center lane. So how we select this? So here we can see that it has a number of uh, lens 3. So we first subtract this and then divide it with by 2 and we select this number and like for this we can see it has a number of lane 5. So now we subtract this number by 1 and we divide it and this number is the central lane index. So this is how we use the separate geometry. Okay, let's first compare node. Miss Iceland. So 
so what we do now is that mat node we need uh, input also this need to be plug in here and select equal so number of lines we plug it here and subtract it by one and another mac node and we divide it by two and plug it here and select here let's erase this now we have now you can see we have selected the center curve but the center curve is not dash but it is continuous line so we select not equal and we use the inverted for the center line now you can see we have selected the center line and the center line is not a dash line it is a continuous line so we need to select not equal now we have this I will use the this node and paste it here and select the inverted and plug it in, in here and plug it in the join geometry so we have this now let's rename it center line center line are double continuous line so we need to make this first multiple curve then and apply the this curve to miss so let's put minus 0 0.15 here and 0 0.15 here let's delete this first it's is vertices equal one and plug it here and let's organize it okay let's give it some thickness with curve to mesh node okay first we need to convert it into curve with uh, mesh to curve node give it a curve line profile let's give a length thickness of 0 0.15 divided by 2 and 0 0.15 divided by 2 and 0 here let's put it inside now let's connect the road there this road select this row let's increase the width to 10 meter make the soldier with 2 meter and you can change the number of lane okay this is how you make the road in the geometry node with the lane marking thank you